In 1970, a friend came over to my house and he brought a John Lee Hooker album and we sat down and listened to that album and it made me realize that uh, everything I'd been listening to before that was based in the blues and John Lee Hooker is such an emotional, uh, important uh, singer, songwriter, guitarist that it just it was so visceral and it just really hooked me and I've been there ever since. What I've always found in the end uh, is that musicians, most of them will go back actually to find out where the heck their music came from, yeah. you know, and it all leads you back into the blues and the roots and everything. And then there's another 20% that, you know, take it new places, but somehow they all come back. I mean, hey, Cindy Lauper even recorded a blues yeah. album, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just the roots of a lot of things, I feel like. I mean, when I first, I think I kind of got into ACDC first, and it traced me back further and further to the blues, you know. I mean, rock and roll, you can't separate rock and roll and the blues. I mean, it's just there. I think there's a little bit of blues in everything. Absolutely. There's blues in all types of music. Um, and if you, until you're made aware of it, you don't notice it. Once you think about that, it's like, oh yeah, it's there, All right. or it's there, and it's in everything. Everything came from the blues. Um, if you go back and listen to all American music, even things like Aaron Copland's symphonies, they all have some element that comes from the blues. The you know, rock and roll, pop music, the big band sounds of the 1930s, 1940s, they all borrowed elements from the blues. Because the blues is the roots, oh, and absolutely. everything else is the fruits. If it wasn't for the blues, there would be nothing else. Exactly right. <laughs>